Hi, this is Eric Martin. We're Board Game Geek. I'm here with Chevy Dodd from Portal Games, and we're here at Origins 2015 to take a look at Rattle Battle Grab the Loot, which is a prototype components for the most part, but final art, final dice production, and hoping to get an overview of the game. Hi, uh, this is Rattle Battle Grab the Loot displayed on the table. It's a fast-playing pirate dice battling game where you can upgrade your ships and get special actions. Each player starts the game with their own galleon in play, which has sails and cannons and places to hold loot. Well, these, these devices give you actions in the sea battles, so using a sail will let you move your dice. Using cannons will let you shoot other ships. The way the game is played out in the box, each round you'll have an adventure that you're going on. In this particular adventure, we're going to face three green dice and one yellow dice. They get harder as they go up in color. And we're going to get some loot. For this particular adventure, we'll get three loot if we participate. So the, whoever the first player is will collect the dice that are, we're going to fight against. And then everybody else decides how many of their dice they're going to contribute. Once every player has contributed their dice, we drop them into the box. And then we see how the battle resolves. For this particular adventure that we chose, any ship that rolls a sail will surrender. And any ship that rolls a shot will get be a strength four. And strength matters because we compare the values of dice that are closest together. But before we do all of that, the players have the option of moving their ships. So your ship has a sail on it. If you would like, you can flip your sail over to the used side and move one of your dice. And again, this prototype, uh, art's not finished, blah, blah, blah. Yes. So to move, any card in the game could be used as a measuring device. There's and also a ruler that has this on it as well for other measurement. So, any card in the game or the ruler can be used to measure. For a move action, you use the long side of the card. For a fire action, you use the short side of the card. So you flipped over your sail, you're going to move. You can move your ship the full length or you can stop part way along the, along the movement path as long as you don't change directions or rotate the die. After every player has taken their actions, we resolve the battles that happen in the box, starting with the pair of dice that are closest together. In this scenario, you are boarding this ship so you would take the ship, put it on your captain card, and you're going to get loot and treasure for that. After we're done with boardings, we'll go from the pair of dice that are closest together, which would be this five and this one. So this player would eliminate this ship, a five versus one, would eliminate this ship, and a five versus three. So the red player has eliminated three ships, and that's all the rest of the ships in the box. The players do not fight against each other. If there's a tie, then both ships take each other out. Yes, if, ties take out both player ships, and if players are tied in distance to the ship that you're attacking, both players sink that ship, so both players will get the benefit. And of course, if those other ships are higher than you, then you get sunk. Yes. And you go onto the little skull there to show your dead ship. Yep. So after we do the battles, we get silver for each ship that we sunk, one silver per ship, and the silver are these metal coins. And we'll show off the, the coins here, which are final, supposedly, with a silver and gold. Silver and gold nice. coins. Yeah. For each ship that you boarded, so in your case you boarded a ship, you will get the silver coin. In addition, you also get an extra loot. So this adventure gave us three loot from the loot bag. We draw from the loot bag. There are four different types of loot. We have cloth, rum, more rum, and spices and treasure. So we draw from the loot bag. You would normally get three, but you get an extra one because you sunk or because you boarded that ship. And now we have to take this loot back to port. And but first we have to store it. You have one hold on your ship that can hold a loot, and then you have ships that can each hold one loot. But for each ship that's going to be holding a loot, you can't send it out in the next round. Yes, if you send this out to sea in the next round, then it loses the loot. Okay. After we have all of our loot, we go to port. In port, this is where we can upgrade our ship. We can start off by buying sailors. Sailors give you abilities while you're in the port that help you or while at sea, which lets you spend goods to get things or to refresh some of your used equipment. You can buy new parts for your ships, so cannons, sails, or holds to hold more loot. You can buy upgrades. There's 20 unique upgrades. Each of them has a token that's associated with them. And as you buy these upgrades, you add them to your ship like I've done over here so that your ship grows and becomes this large pirate ship. 
In addition, you can trade in your valuables and any other goods for coins. And you can buy victory point cards. At the end of the game, the pirate who has the most victory points is going to win. Each silver coin is worth one victory point. Each victory point card is worth the value shown. And there's some pirates that give you points for overachieving. <laughs> All right. Uh, playing time, it's two to five players. Five What's players that? is going to be about an 80-minute game. Okay. Two players is significantly quicker, but okay. the, it's still about an hour game. All right. So 60 to 90 minutes. Anything else we need to know? There's different levels of adventures yes, as we go out on there. There's two scenarios included in the box. Each of them follows the same adventure path. There's soft adventures, hard adventures, and then we have crazy adventures. The crazy adventures are silly little dice games that you play, not in the box, just roll dice against each other and see who wins. And the winner will typically get a silver or maybe some loot. Uh, the black dice, they were used for something ah, yes, I don't recall. The black dice are used for two player. These are your captain dice. They have a lot of cannons. Normally, the normal player ship dice only have one cannon. The black dice in a two player game, they have a ton of cannons. Also, one of the other scenarios in the box is a pirate war, so we can fight each other, and the black dice are used for that as well. All right. So, lots of sinking other player ships. Okay. All right. Thanks very much for the overview. Anything else didn't mention? Uh, except debuting at Gen Con 2015. This will debut at Gen Con 2015 and be in retail probably the month after that. Thanks very much. Thank you.